Hey, mountain friends, how's everybody doing? Y'all, have you ever heard of chicken mole? Chicken mole? I had never heard of chicken mole, but I had tried this soup um, and I thought it was really good. And y'all, you're talking about something that you can just make with whatever you got in your in your refrigerator, in your pantry, then here's something easy that you can just cook and it's good. It's gonna stick to your ribs. It's gonna warm you up on these cold winter days. And let me tell you, it's got saltine crackers in it. So if you got some crackers laying around in your cabinets and you got some chicken uh, you wanna cook, then you can make this. It's really easy. There's not a lot to it. And I'm gonna show y'all how to do it. And it is some, look there, it is some good stuff, y'all. I'm telling you, it's lip smacking good. <laughs> so I'm gonna show y'all how to make chicken mole, okay? So I'm getting started on the chicken mole. So what I did is I put five chicken legs in here and I got them brought up to boil. And you wanna make sure that you're using a chicken that's bone in and it's got the skin on it because that's where your flavor is gonna come. Because anytime you got chicken, uh, anytime you're making a dish like chicken and dumplings or soup or stews that call for chicken or any kind of meat, really, uh, if you can, um, <clears throat> always put you, always use bone in and with the skin on because that's where your flavor is going to come from, okay? So there's five chicken legs in here and I'm using chicken legs because I got them on sale. You can use whatever cut of chicken you want. Um, and so now that that's up to a bowl, I'm going to add one Knorr chicken bouillon cube. And I like the Knorr brand. These are really soft. And that's going to add some extra flavor in there. I'm going to do two cloves of garlic whole. And I'm going to do one small onion. This is a half of a small onion. And the other half. So I will fish all that out when uh, after the chicken bowls, but this is just gonna give it some really good flavor. And I'm gonna do about a teaspoon of black pepper and about a half teaspoon of poultry seasoning. And I'm gonna reduce the heat to about a medium. And I'm just gonna cover that and let it boil until the chicken is tender. So the chicken is cooked. It took about two hours. I just uh, cooked it and I uh, took it out of the kettle to cool off so I can take it off the bone. And I just skim out the onions and the garlic. And I'm gonna let, it, let the chicken cool off and take it off the bone. Then when we come back, we'll finish this up. All right, now I got the broth uh, back to a simmer. There's probably about six cups there of broth. This is a small, uh, this is a small batch. You can easily double this or um, really this kind of recipe uh, really doesn't need a, a lot of, it really doesn't need to be a written recipe as long as you just do put all this in, it's still gonna turn out. So, uh, there's about six cups probably there. I don't know, I haven't measured, but it's a it's about that deep in my um, kettle here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a half a cup of half and half. And I'm gonna add a cup of water. And I'm gonna add all my chicken back to the pot. Now we're gonna add a sleeve of crackers. These are saltine crackers. I'm gonna add a whole sleeve and a half here to my pot. I'm gonna add in my crackers. Now these need to be salt and easy saltine crackers, not Ritz crackers or club crackers, okay? And just crush them. You know, they don't have to be finely crushed, just, um, See, I still got some pieces right there. So it doesn't, they don't have to be 
finely crushed. Just grab your sleeve and just give them a squeeze. And I'll put the other one in. I'm going to stir that and let it come to a boil. So this is going to come to a boil and it's going to thicken up. This is kind of like, kind of like chicken and dumplings, really. But it's, it just thickens up. Now, if you don't have half and half, you can use whole milk or you can use heavy cream too. It'd be good. So what you got to do is this is, I want to cover it. It's going to, it's about a medium heat. I'm going to cover it and it'll start thickening up here. And I'm going to check it and see if it needs any more seasoning, like some salt and pepper. All right, y'all. Now, look at that. It's so good. It's a thick, hearty chicken stew. It's creamy, but it's really good. It kind of puts me in mind of chicken and dumplings or like a cream of chicken soup. And it is delicious and smells so good. Y'all, that was easy. That's a good recipe right there for cold weather chicken mole mmm can't wait to taste it all right now it's time to eat y'all look at that it's good and I got me a few crackers because I like to stick me some more crackers in it and eat it with some crunchy crackers and I like to put me a little bit more black pepper on it just a little mmm Y'all, this is good. Now you can add, mm, you can add more chicken to it if you want. This is a pretty small batch, but you can, and it feeds a lot of people. Even this small batch want to feed a lot of people. And this is the kind of stuff that sticks to your ribs. Got my cracker in there. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Like I said, it just kindly puts me in mind of chicken, uh, of, of chicken and dumplings, like the flat kind of chicken dumplings. It's kind of like a cream, uh, a creamy chicken soup or a, like a chicken gravy kind of. Um, but it's so good and it's easy. And I'm glad I made it because it's gonna warm me up here on this winter day. Mmm, mmm, y'all. You gotta try it. And I'm curious, if you've heard of chicken mole, y'all tell me, let me know. And I would love to know some stories behind it. But I I saw this and I had tried it before and I thought, I'm like, man, I want to try this and I'm gonna cook it. And y'all, it's good. Definitely, definitely is a winner and definitely be making this again. My mama loved this, so she loves, um, just simple chicken soup. She would love this. I want to send some to my mommy. So if y'all make it, you let me know. I hope you do. Some chicken mole, y'all. So thank you for watching Mountain Cooking with Missy. Where's nothing fancy. Just good eating. Bye, guys.